Hey guys, today I'm going to do a review of the Kindle keyboard. But not really. No, this this device is about three years old, so there's no way I'm going to review it. It's been done a thousand times over, I would be the thousand and one person to review it. What this is, is a Kindle keyboard I bought from a friend, and it has a crack uh, in the bottom right hand corner of the screen plastic, the, sorry, the bezel around the plastic. It's a well known fault, I found 37 page document on Amazon, a, a, a forum post about this issue. Let me show you closer up under magnifying glass. Can you see that crack there? There's a crack extending outwards from the bottom right hand corner of the screen into the plastic, which is not good. This means in about a year's time or maybe less, the whole case could be cracked. Anyway, to cut a long story short, I called Amazon and asked them to replace it. After a lot of deliberating, they replaced it with a Kindle Touch, which I have here. Now, I like the Kindle Touch. It's a great device. No problems with it at all, mechanically or functionality-wise, but I can't see it in the dark. Um, I couldn't see this one in the dark either, but seeing as they replace it with a Touch, I thought, what's the point in that? when you can just replace it with a Kindle Paperwhite, which is exactly the same price. Anyway, let's cut a long story shorter. After a lot of deliberating and, and chatting and phone calls, they agreed to replace it with a brand new Kindle Paperwhite. 3G. Yes, folks, 3G. The original Kindle I had was Wi-Fi. The Kindle Touch I had was Wi-Fi. I said to them, considering I spent so much time on the phone, is there any chance you'd be able to send me a 3G version of the Kindle Paperwhite. I understand if you can't, but if you can, that'd be great. And they said yes. I could not believe it. So, here is the Kindle Paperwhite, which is replacing the Kindle Touch, which was replacing the Kindle Keyboard, or Kindle 3, as it was originally known. And I'm going to unbox it for you. So, what I'm going to do is try and find a way to balance this camera somewhere as I tear it open. And let me see what I can do with this. You may have to sit on my desk at a weird angle, but we will get it working, don't worry. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll put it in a little stand on there. There we go. That's the camera. Ready? Nearly. Almost there, folks. Won't keep you too much longer. How excited, aren't you? Right, so here's the Kindle Paperwhite. And you want me to get on and undo the box, don't you? Not listen to your waffle. So here goes. There's the tab. Pull the tab. Undo the box. And that is the tab. And that is the box open now. Officially unsealed. So I now cannot remake this video because I've opened the box. So if the video goes, video goes wrong, sorry guys, this is impromptu uh, video blogging, so, or vlogging, or whatever they call it these days. And that is trendy catchphrase. So, here is the Amazon box. Actually, the box itself is very nice. It's very well designed. Um, Barcode 8149160176669. And we'll open the box and look at the Paperwhite 3G. This is a 3G data and a Wi Fi version. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, as the Americans would say. Okay, before we see the Kindle, in the pocket in the cardboard lid, there's a little Kindle Paperwhite guide. I'll show you what's in there briefly, very briefly, because I can't be bothered to show it all, because it's uh, not that interesting. Charging your Kindle. Holding your Kindle. It probably tells you to hold it the right way up, which is uh, wouldn't be unexpected for a manual these days, as they think, seem to think that everyone's stupid. Oh, anyway, there we go. I can't bother with that. So, Kindle, what's this? Another, another guide. 
there's just a guide on how to read the previous guide. And is the previous guide a guide on how to read this guide? Guide A, the black one, says this is how you read guide B, and this is how you index the uh, articles in the, in the in the guide. And then guide B says the same about yeah. Well, you know what I mean. It's a yeah. I'm being a bit silly now. Okay, so put those back in the pocket. One of these recycled cardboard forms, formings, mouldings, whatever they're called. You put them in there. So you want to see the Kindle of Paperwhite, don't you? Right. Here it is. And I'm going to unbox it and unpackage it for you because I know you would love people unpackaging things, which is uh, I think people get a slight bit obsessed with it, but hey, I'm doing it for the public because they're my viewers. Uh, Kindle paper, what does it say? It says camera, please focus. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Power on, off. Okay. In the box, you get just a cable, micro USB cable, because Amazon are now mean and they're just not giving you the charger anymore. They say it's for the environment, but I think that it's mean because they're charging you the same price for the Kindle, but giving you less. And you now have to pay twelve ninety nine for the charger, the USB charger. Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to that. There's a standard, well, very nice silicon sort of soft rubbery Amazon. Um, Kindle USB lead. I've got two of these. I've got, I've got another one over here as well. I seem to collect these like uh, like sweets. Another one from the Kindle Touch, which they said keep it because you're not uh, you send the touch back, but not the wire apparently for some safety reasons. So anyway, I've got two of those now. I've got a third one actually. I'm not charging this uh, camera up. So anyway, you want to see the paper white? I know. So, as I'm working one-handed, I have to unwrap it with one hand. It makes a lovely cellophane sound that drives everyone crazy because it really makes you, makes you cringe. So, let's pull it out of the packet. Close up because, like I said, I'm working with one hand. Unless, of course, I balance it again. Let me just do that. Balance the camera. Right. Annoying unwrapping sound. Slow and rather pretentiously dramatic. Slow pulling out the cellophane. Actually, it's not dramatic, pretentious or dramatic. It's actually can't do any faster than that because it's really tight. <laughs> oh come on, come out, you silly thing! Pull off cellophane. Why won't you come off? Okay. There we go. Let's move the box and the wrapping aside. And have a look at this little beauty. There we go. Kindle Paperwhite. Let's turn it on. This is the first time I've turned it on, guys. You're very privileged to watch this. So, press the power button, as it says. And uh, nothing happens. I guess it does. <laughs> Here we go. Shall I turn the light off? Is that better? No, it's worse. Okay, almost there. This video shouldn't be too long, folks. I wouldn't bore you for too long. Anyway, so while it's booting up, I'll show you around the device. You've got the uh, micro USB data slash charging port there. And the camera decides to focus again, which it uh, seems to do at random. Anyway, let me do a close up of that because that is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Charging data port, microphone, power button. Or button, as Americans say. Button. Button. Okay. The camera, you gotta focus. Just about. Anyway, on the back, there's a very nice sort of rubbery soft touch feel to it. It's, there's Kindle, it's, it's embossed into the, the case. You've got the Amazon uh, blurb on the bottom. 
the, the certificate type approvals and stuff and safety information and uh, and uh, FCC IDs and stuff. Blah de blah. No headphone socket because it's not not an audio capable de capable device. Okay, so when you first turn it on, it's glowing. What language do we want? English. Use English, United Kingdom, and short of Irish language. Yes, that's why I pressed English. I really don't want to speak in Americanese, because that's not English, that's American. Seriously, they should call American English, they should just call it American, because it's not English, is it? Let's face it. So, the Paperwhite is booting up for the first time. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. In the meantime, let's look at the boy in the tree and try and see what he's reading. No, can't quite get there. There's a lovely packaging. Look. Actually, look at the packaging. It's more exciting than watching this thing boot up. Come on, Kindle. Look at it compared to the other one. Kindle keyboard, slightly smaller and slightly brighter. Just a little bit better, I'd say. And it's got 3G! I can't believe it, they gave me 3G! Which means when I'm out and about, I can download books and look at Wikipedia. Woohoo! Mmm. Thrilling. Yep, the thrills never end. Kindle Paperwhite. First ever paper white display. Okay, it's not made out of paper, but hey, I'll let you off. Trade descriptions and all that. Get started. Get started. Oh, there we go. Connect to Wi Fi. Okay. If I have to, I will. Connect to Wi Fi. I will put my Wi Fi password in. Oops, hide password. So now you know all of my password. Go for it. Try and get to my Wi Fi. Go for it. Connecting to Amazon. Giving Amazon your thumbprint. Analyzing your DNA profile. Yeah. Okay. Use this account, of course, to be silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to know this stuff. Oh, do I have to? Okay. Wants me to tap everything and follow its handy guide. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this ridiculous stuff already. Let's check out the Kindle toolbar. Woohoo! Yeah, let's open the fonts. Yeah, why not? Yeah, tap to close. Great. Yep. Thank you, you're so kind. Press and hold Kindle for more options. Wonderful. Oh man, do I have to do all this stuff? This is tedious. This is making my video four minutes longer. Thank you. Finally. So that was unboxing the Kindle Paperwhite. It's gone on way long enough for you guys, you poor people. So, there it is. Lovely silver leg on the bezel there. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. Take care, guys. God bless you. Bye-bye.